good you guys will be back with another video so for today's video I'm going to be doing my top 10 favorite back to school shoes under $100 so these right here is going to be uh, like you know cheap uh, alternative if you guys do need a pair of shoes and uh, this list right here will be for you guys so it ain't going to be nothing like Yeezys or anything like Red October but anyway before I start the video I just want to let you guys know I'm going to be giving you guys some honorable mentions before, before I start because you know some of these shoes right here if you guys do think they should been on the shoe on my top 10 shoes then uh, comment down below let me know but anyways let's start with the first pair of shoes so for the first honorable mention pair of shoes I'm going to be saying is these Nike Roshi so this right here are my sisters and uh, probably on the camera you guys can't probably tell but these are actually beat up really bad especially over here you know see this front but these Roshi are honestly really comfortable for like walking or anything like that because some of these shoes right here um, you know, shoes like this you could be walking around and enjoying everything and there is a, a, but um there is also another pair of Nike Roshi's right here and as you can see on the, on the camera it's probably picking up yellow but it's actually a neon green color because but it's actually really nice and sick and the shoe list is pink and those gray so um you know Nike Roshi's honestly I really do love it it's really soft comfortable pair of shoes you guys should really go cop yourself a pair yourself but anyways that was the first pair of honorable mention now like the second honorable mention so for the second honorable mention shoe is Air Jordan ones. So obviously everybody uh, like favorite pair of shoes. Everybody would always you know put as their um, shoes. So these were actually my old Air Jordan ones. They were, these were actually my first pair of Air Jordan ones I've ever got. And you know these. But uh, my the, but here's my reason why I did not put these on the list. The reason for it for that is is because um, these are mids. So. I'm pretty sure you guys that do want Jordan, then you guys probably want the high top more than the uh, mids or lows. So that's why I didn't put these on the list because I don't have any high high top Jordan ones, which I should really get one. But these are the Chris Paul um, Air Jordan ones. But you guys can find different kind of like colors of Air Jordan ones. You guys do want one? So um, like like again, like what's time? Comment down a link. I'm gonna link all these shoes in the description below. So you guys do want a pair? Type yourself any pair. But anyways, now let's go on to the real list. Now let's go on to the first pair of shoes. So for the first pair of shoes we, we're going to be talking about is Vans. So Vans, honestly, I really do love Vans. I think they're one of the most popular shoes in the whole world right now, I believe. But um, but there is actually a difference to tell between um, you know, like authentic old school Vans versus like um, different kind of Vans. Which um, I'm pretty sure you guys are like big Vans sneakers. You guys should already know this. But I honestly did not know this until like later on. So as you can see, um, if the camera could pick up, there's a um, you know little line like that, little like rectangle right there. But these right here is just going across straight. There's none of this um, square line on here. You guys, you guys could see, you guys could tell the difference because these are actually the old schools and these are actually called wards. So these are honestly two different kind of pair of shoes. So you guys want to like the legit old schools, go for like the one like these. You guys like don't care about vans, you just want a pair, you go for these, because these are honestly a little bit more cheaper. And you guys can honestly find vans at any price that you guys like know or or do want to like find a copy of a pair. But um that right there was my sisters and these were mine, these white ones. And I do have um I do have other pair of vans, like these pair of authentic vans right here. So these, you know, just black and gum bottom. These are actually my beater shoes. Like when I go out somewhere, these are these are like normal shoes I'm wearing. And my sister do have another pair of vans, which we did find these at Northstorm Rack. So you guys, you guys should go pull up over there. They got so much heat on vans. So here's these, you know, just a nice simple pair of vans. You guys could obviously get any pair of vans that you guys do see. And back here are the Marvel Vans, but I'm not going to pull it out because, you know, it's going to be too much work for me. I'll, I'll post it right here, show you guys how it looks like. It's also a really nice pair of shoes. You guys should really go copy yourself a pair. And also, another pair of shoes that um, another Vans, um, like my sister, do have is these um, uh, skate highs, which also I do not have a high top, which I uh, really do well with, but I'm trying to get um, some, some like the low top Vans first before anything else. But these are her shoes. You guys can't see, but it's actually pink. And this is red and this is blue, so look, you know, it makes a little nice clap together. So, this one makes the shoes really sweet, which I really do like. But, anyways, that was the first pair of shoes. That was like the second pair of shoes. So, for the second pair of shoes we're looking at is Converse. So, obviously, you guys uh, probably 
you guys might have already expected Converse will probably already be on this list. So this right here is the high top Converse and this right here is the mids and this right here is the low top Converse. So three different kind of Converse you guys could get which um, honestly the mids, honestly I did used to um, wear them but you know the highs obviously I really do love. The mids also I really do love too because honestly Miss Mids, Converse Mids, which I really do love wearing it. I usually, I would wear that with everything. And this right here is low top, you know, basic. So, I mean, nothing really much on Converse, you know, like, you know, you guys can get it in any size. Like, like, like about a van, um, I usually go by half. Yeah, I just want my feet to have a little room, but it was for you guys. But usually I say vans, you could go true to size. And Converse, they usually run really large, so you guys wear like, like me, these, I wear size like eight, eight and a half, but I had to get these Converse in a size seven, so that's, and I still could fit it as of right now. So I said you guys should go probably run a size like down, like half a size, don't go like two sides down. You guys could go a uh, full size down, but I say just go half size, but like, like what I did. But, um, you know, Converse, obviously you guys could wear this anything. Like like the Vans, but anyways, that was the second pair of shoes. Now let's get the third pair of shoes. So for the third pair of shoes, we're gonna be looking at is a pair of shoes I do not have, but it is a New Balance 574. And these shoes, I can tell you right now, they look so nice. With when I first like when I first saw New Balance, I obviously wanted those pair of shoes, and they are actually really cheap. You guys can actually find these pair of shoes for around like ninety dollars, eighty nine, eighty five. You know, basing on the I say probably size because usually size, you know, it usually does affect everything. Like usually I would, you know, I probably I probably rock them, and obviously they're really comfortable. Because I also do have a, a pair of New Balance myself. And I, I usually wear that just to play, um, you know, football, basketball, anything like sports really, anything think of. So I would, I would usually wear those New Balance, and New Balance are usually really comfortable. So you guys should really go cop yourself a 574, which obviously if you guys are not big on New Balance, this this can actually be your first New Balance shoes you obviously could have. But anyway, that was the third pair of shoes. Now look at the fourth pair of shoes. So for the four pair of shoes we're we'll looking at is a pair of Adidas and of these. And these shoes right here are, I can tell you right now, they're so comfortable, which I, I'll say you cannot go wrong with a pair of N and these. So these are a Japanese collab one and um, you know, your boy over here had to pull up with these because you know, it, it just like look like look at that, it's like you just got the Japanese on there, everything like that. And just have like the brim with three stripes right there. So you know, it, I, I would say I really do I really do love um, and of these and honestly what am I collecting more but um, I'm trying to find uh, the one I really want is like it's like this red black and blue well I, I can show you guys right there um, I really do want those pair but I think those like the OGs because they like go for like so much so if I so I'm trying to find that pair but you know these these shoes and these are really comfortable. They have the boost in there, so those gonna make it even more comfortable. I wore these shoes so many times. I had it for like about like I say like five months already, and they still look brand new. And they're also really clean pair of shoes. You gotta wear it with joggers, shorts, sweats, anything you basically think of. You can wear these with anything. But anyway, so that was the fourth pair of shoes. Now look at the fifth pair of shoes. So for the fifth pair of shoes I'm gonna be looking at is another pair of shoes I do not have, which I really should be copying myself. But I'm trying to find like the right pair because like the top of this pair of shoes, like it hurts my feet so much. But it is the Adidas Ultra Boost, which you guys is obviously a really comfortable pair of shoes, which you guys do not have. You guys should really copy yourself and wear it yourself. And it's truly really comfortable, comes with boost and boost soles. So if you wear wear that, like feels like heaven. And you guys like don't want to take that shoes off anymore. But um, I see some other pair of new different ultra boots. Like you guys, you guys already know they have like the Game of Thrones ultra boots. They have like I don't know, like an all black and all white. You know, anything you really think of, they have those pair of colors. But you guys can find a cheaper ultra boots for just get like a plain color. And you guys are chilling. You guys are good. Which um, you guys do are saying like. These are Ultra Boost. These are actually Solar HU Glides. So don't be confused with you guys are wondering like, like Logan, do you have Ultra Boost behind you? But, uh, you know, Ultra Boost got to really go cop. But anyways, that was the fifth pair of shoes. And that was like the sixth pair of shoes. So for the sixth pair of shoes we're looking at is a pair of Nike. And these are the Air Max 1s have a Nike day. 
which um, you guys would have an idea. I really do love it. You know, the mix of colors everywhere. It's like this like peach color on here. You got this like turquoise color on there. So this uh, and I really do love these pair of shoes. I mean, I did. I, I wore these like a few times. And like I said, I also forgot to mention about uh, the end of these. Um, you guys, um, I do recommend you guys go in half a size, but you guys do have like you know, smaller feet. Then uh, just say the stick to the size. But me, I personally go up half. But Air Max, I say stick to the size. Like me, I wear size eight, so I got so I got this in a size eight. Which I really do love. And um, like I said, these are like you know casual shoes, so you guys don't want to be like running in these shoes as much. So walk around and like show off your pair of having a Nike day because it's also a really different pair of shoes and I'm, I haven't seen one person actually wear these shoes like around as much but um you know like Twitter I do see some people like have these on and you know, other things like that but like out like when I like, walk around the stores I don't ha I've never seen one person ever wear these pair of shoes but anyways that was a six pair of shoes and I was like at the seventh pair of shoes so for the seventh pair of shoes we're looking at is a pair of Reebok Classics, which you guys should really cop a pair of shoes yourself. Which the one I do have is uh, this pair of Reebok Classic. Um, I, I think like leather. So it's called CL Leather RSP, which um, I got this one, which um, also I've never seen this Reebok Classic before in my life. So I had to cop, I had to come through and I decided to cop this one because also I really do love these pair of shoes a lot. And I really do love how the soles on here is like gray and it turns to white like all the way. And, and I really do love the shiny part of the Reebok part. Look at this, like, uh, I mean, I like the way how it looks and I love the leather back here. So, uh, and it's also a really comfortable pair of shoes. You guys should really be copying um, a pair of Reebok Classics. Actually, like, you know, you guys want to wear as like your beater shoes. You guys like really don't care and you just want to like wear it just like. Just like go to school, just walk around. I highly advise you guys to cop yourself a Reebok Classics, which obviously, you know, it's probably you guys are probably looking like looking at dad shoes, like your grandpa shoes. But I promise you guys, it's not. You guys have pulled this off for like any pair of outfits, and you guys will obviously look so right in these pair of shoes. But anyways, that was the seventh pair of shoes. Now it's like the eighth pair of shoes. So for the eighth pair of shoes we're looking at is the Adidas Superstar. So these are actually two pairs of shoes. With these are my sisters, but um, I usually don't rock with um, Adidas Superstars a lot. But these are the original, like the, you know, the low tops. And the other one is the high top one. So these right here is a high top one and these are the low top. So, you know, obviously um, Adidas Superstar is obviously, you know, a classic pair of shoes, which, uh, you know, air actually be like, you know, having a collection or you know something just to wear so like you know do you guys want to wear with jeans joggers anything like that these shoes right here are for you guys and the new idea superstar i have this like orphalite uh thing like to make it super comfortable so you know if you guys do want to walk around and i do cop a pair of adidas superstar because basically where you with anything and you guys will perfectly look fine look right there's also like a black one and you guys do want to cop with any you can cop a Adidas Superstars but anyways that was 8 pair of shoes now look at the ninth pair of shoes so for the ninth pair of shoes we were looking at is a pair of Air Force Ones uh, you know Air Force One you guys basically wear it out with anything because it's like it's just, it is like all white and you guys basically wear all white with like anything like with black gray anything you think of and there is also like like I just said there's a black Air Force One so you guys do want to wear that wear that but um, me, I personally like to wear the white one because um, you basically put any slits on there like I did with my Air Force ones. I did have, but mine have stars on there and I did put red and blue shoelace on there. That's what I did. So, you know, it, obviously I really do love it, but I ain't gonna show that Air Force ones. I'm gonna show you guys the originals. Because those are obviously a little bit more cheaper than the stars and you guys can't really find as much. But anyways, that was a ninth pair of shoes. Now look at the final and last pair, the 10th pair of shoes. So for the 10th pair of shoes is another pair of shoes which I do not have and that's the Nike Haraki and you guys could find these pair of shoes anywhere and I did find it at Nordstorm for like uh, I think I found it for like 70 or 60 dollars so um so you guys could go to Nordstorm I did find an all white one but um the all black one the all red one any color you think of that you guys do want it um you guys could cop it anywhere which I did find some by chance for like 65 dollars and they were, and I think they were on sale. I think I believe so. 
but um, you know, but Hirachi is like you can find it anywhere for like a really good price. But the reason why I put this as my 10th is because personally, Hirachi is like this like bulky pair of shoes. But anyway, so all for the video today, please comment, like, and subscribe. If my first comment, I'll comment you guys back. And how you guys feel about the video? Do you guys like my top 10 list? Or like I said when Amro mentioned, do you guys like it? Was it good? Should I put it on there? But anyways, see you guys next time. Peace.